What's up, everybody? This is Tanner from TamanBaseballFan.com. I'm going to dip my toe in the pool of Transformers uh, on this video. Uh, I wanted to show some customization work that I had done on a uh, massive size Transformer. It's uh, about two feet tall. It's Metroplex. Um, if you're an 80s kid, you probably remember this guy. Um, this is a uh, Generations uh, Titan, I believe, is a Titan class is what I believe is what it's called. Um, it's uh, So it's a newer piece. It's been out for you know, a few years now, it's highly sought after. Um, the prices have been going going up on these, uh, from what I can tell. But I was able to secure one. Uh, here's what they change into. Real cool piece. The thing is, I was like, you know, like this is for kids, right? Well, <laughs> I want to kind of make this a little more more adult, uh, basically. So I, I researched for months on what I wanted to do with this and some other pieces to make them actual, like, real nice. Um, adult show pieces. So what I did was uh, I sought out somebody um, and found somebody by the name of Deceptipunk Customs. Did a great job on this piece. So the first thing I had to do was I actually had to secure a Metroplex. So here's a picture of the piece that I secured. It's obviously way different looking than, you know, those beautiful professional Hasbro pictures. Um, this is not broken. That's just kind of how he comes uh, shipped. But um, anyways, uh, I don't, this doesn't do it for me. Like, I don't like just like the stark white or anything personally. I don't like the plasticky look. Um, so as I was working with my customizer um, very closely for several months on this, let me show you what uh, what we came up with, what really he came up with, but I guess from my brain and his hands, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, take a look. Here's, here's what it looks like now. All right, guys, here it is. It is gorgeous. It is very difficult to show how beautiful it is uh, in pictures. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of some, some tricks I did in Photoshop to make it pop, to kind of get it to look as nice online as it does in person. Um, I mean, just look at the, look at the detail. That's incredible. And it looks way different from, uh, from that stark white, doesn't it? I mean, it's just a completely different animal now. So let's, uh, let's take a look how to display this thing properly and show it off online. So once again, here's the piece that I picked up um, and I actually took a picture of the customized piece and, and here it is here. I mean, this just looks way better than this, right? I mean, it's just, it's, you know, night and day difference, literally. So uh, the thing is, is I wanted to be able to show this off nicer um, online. So I wanted to kind of take out this whole, my carpet living room, the rock wall, wall that we have. <laughs> and so I did a number of things in order to do that. I needed to, you know, remove the background and, you know, I punched up the, uh, the contrast and everything a little bit. And so ultimately kind of, let me show you what I, what I did. We'll de we will kind of deconstruct this a little bit so you can see what I did, but, um, I found this as a background, which is pretty cool too. Um, and so I used this and I'll, I'll show you kind of what I did here. Um, here's what I came up with guys. Like this is, you know, obviously a big difference. Um, all I did was I took, uh, this piece here, I tiled it several times. I changed, I desaturated it, changed it to different blue and added a shadow. And so that you can kind of see this whole wall back here is kind of tilted a little bit to make it look like he's moving. I had to actually, or to make sure that it matches up with where he's standing. Um, I added a shadow right here. Um, so that way, you know, kind of gives it more depth. And I even did a little bit of reflection, um, on this piece because this piece down here is the same piece right here. It's just different shading, um, different coloring. And I wanted to make sure it just looks like a floor. So I also added a subtle shadow where it looks like the light is coming in from the right and is hitting the shadow of the actual piece on the back if you look around you know the arm and everything so and of course i watermarked it here i put metroplex tanner toys collection uh my mom and dad growing up i always heard them say that they wanted to come out with a uh you know company called tanner toys or something so i thought that'd be kind of a fun thing to pay some respect to um to their idea there um but uh anyways yeah guys i i think it I think it turned out pretty good um and plus i love being able to show this online way more um, as a showpiece than as opposed to uh, you know this here so what a difference right this is a massive massive difference 
Um, and here's the back, by the way, also, which is just great. Um, I love this piece. Uh, it's like I said, about two feet tall, and this is the exact kind of thing that I want in my collection. So anyways, there it is. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And I forgot to say also, by the way, please like and subscribe.